Welcome to the stage, a true blue Leinster legend, simply the best ever, Brian O'Driscoll. anyone heard what was said on that bus, they would be <laughs> nothing short of appalled. And it's been 15 years of pervert, perverted comments, <laughs> and it's been hilarious and brilliant and funny and um, an education, and it's just been a laugh. And I will be really, really sad, I, and people say, ex-players say that it is, that it's the dressing room that you miss, and I have no doubt that's what I will miss uh, the most. Um, um, and obviously, um, to you know, to all the support, people that come to the dinner, people that come to the games every um, every week, people that go to the pit an hour before the games in the RDS just to sing us out for a warm up. You know, that's that's the little difference. That's the little spur on that you need sometimes in the really close games. To, to everyone that's ever been to a Leinster game and cheered us on, thank you so much. It means the world to everyone, to all the boys. And finally, just to, uh, to my mum and dad that are here, my sisters, um, they, they couldn't make it tonight, uh, but to my mum and dad um, for their incredible support over the last 15 years. I'm sure they're looking forward to the end as much as I am, hopefully get out of it relatively unscathed. Um, it, you know, we've, had, we've had a great uh, run at it, and um, you know, we look forward to spending more time together as a family, um, be it down in Wexford or you know, with the other grandkids. Um, I, I think we are a very tight family and you know, my more immediate family and my wife and my little girl, uh, it's exciting times ahead, whatever that entails. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to potentially playing second fiddle um, to, to my very talented wife. Um, and you know, I feel very, very lucky um, going into whatever the next part of life entails. Um, it's gonna be great. So thank you so much to, to you, Amy, and to Sadie at home asleep or Maybe keeping the babysitter up, who knows? Um, love you loads. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, Leo, let's go. <laughs> I don't think you have to say much, but every Leo Cullen. Let everybody sit down here. Yeah, Leinster's been a funny time. Um, when it started off, we had some, some pretty tough days, to be fair. Uh, probably the worst as a player, I guess, when we played against Perpignan in 2003. Um, we went down to the semi-final, we played at home at Lansdown Road, so as, as a, in terms of games, I think that would rank probably as the worst day for me. Um, personally, as a player, uh, when I had John Ryan, our doctor, stitching me my testicles uh, in the medical room of the RDS, that would probably rank as the worst day for He did me. say they were the nicest pair of testicles he had seen in quite some time, though, to be fair, so Leo does have a nice set of balls. And listen, obviously, as you go through your career, you're going to have some highs and lows with uh, selection. I remember missing out in selection in 2003 for the World Cup and for a Grand Slam decider also in 2003 with Ireland, so they would rank pretty high up there. And um, with highs, sorry, Brendan's trying to get back from the toilet there. Um, you know, I, I think in Leinster we're very, very lucky because we've got clubs and schools that do a hell of a lot of men of work in trying to produce quality young players, you know, and not only young players, but quality young men as well. And, you know, I think we're very fortunate in the academy, the work that's going on behind the scenes in Leinster, trying to produce these quality individuals that can play for Leinster for the years to come. And um, I suppose I was lucky enough to be in Pontypridd there last weekend when the A-team played against Pontypridd in the valleys. There was 26,000 people came down from the hills to watch the game. And, um, it was, you know, it was so encouraging for me to see young guys like dig in and see how much they want to play for Leinster. And 
uh, I'm really looking forward to looking looking forward to working with those guys in the future. So, yeah, listen, you know, as a lot of people have said, there's nothing being playing, but um, I'm very, very excited about the challenge that lies ahead. And taking over, obviously, John o came up before me and spoke, and he's done a, a huge amount of work in trying to instill a kind of a hard-working ethos amongst the group. And um, listen, I'm really looking forward to obviously taking up from where he has left off, because he's leaving Leinster in a pretty good place. So. Um, yeah, it's a, a very, very exciting challenge for me.